Hey the LEGO fans! Following my recent appreciation of the Birds of Paradise kit, I thought it was time to return to the Botanical series and have a look at this cute little bonsai tree. Kit number 10281 at 878 pieces, and when built, this should be a nice little display piece looking pretty cute. And you can optionally change out the green leaves for some uh, pink ones, which I think would be a cherry blossom tree or something. In that case, should be quite cute, and looking forward to seeing it. But first, as always, let's open this box, see what we have to work with inside, get this built underway, so we can get a closer look at this cute little bonsai tree. So here we have one cute little Lego bonsai sitting in a sleek little square black pot and sitting atop a stylish little wood platform. The trunk of this miniature tree is a very gnarly surface. Starting in one corner, it curls up towards the other side, having some extra roots jetting down into the earth separate from the main trunk, two spindly little branches that wind from the top all the way back down to the earth, and the entire surface being pleasantly textured. Up top, the trunk splits into three thick branches, each of which has a large cluster of leaves attached to the end of it in addition to a much smaller cluster that is attached right at the top of the trunk where the branches split apart. And all of this comes together really nicely to create that classic, highly manicured, tiny green bonsai tree experience. But if green is not your color, LEGO's provided you with an option for you can switch out the green foliage for some pink blossoms. Here we have a bunch of white branches, adorned with pink flowers, and some pale pink frogs, which I believe are supposed to represent the blossoms. But these aren't the only frogs in the kit. There's also one brown frog hidden at the very top of the tree, right where the branches split, covered over by some foliage. And I'm pretty sure this frog is not supposed to be a frog, but just one stubby, nubby little branch. Moving down from the top of the tree down to the pot, there's not too much to say about it. I mean, it's a pretty simple, very sleek little black square base. But I do feel it's worth mentioning that the four rounded black feet are rubber elements. So as it sits on top of its wooden platform, it doesn't slide too easily because you know it would otherwise. So that's pretty great that they're rubber. And finally, moving down to the little wooden base, it's not too much to say about it. It's pretty much what you see is what you get kind of piece, but does complete the thematic look and definitely adds the display value of this kit, which quite clearly is what this was made for. Sitting there, it's not going to be the centerpiece to any display, but wherever you decide to put it, it's going to be a really nice accent piece to whichever room you think suits it best. And I think it goes without saying that it would do very well in environments where a real bonsai would not survive. 
as a play kit, I mean, clearly, no. This thing isn't meant to be played with. That's all I'm gonna say. And when it comes to the parts, there's nothing too remarkable in here unless you're really looking for a large collection of pink frogs. And if you are, it's pretty great that you can actually collect all these pink frogs and still assemble the green bonsai tree. So, bonus. So I feel like this kit, like the others from the Botanical series, isn't necessarily going to be for everyone. Not being very flashy or interactive, there's a lot of LEGO fans out there that might not be interested in a kit like this. Just as, I'm sure, there are many others that would love to have some LEGO foliage in their home. I also feel that a kit like this could make a great gift for someone who doesn't typically identify as a LEGO fan, because a little LEGO plant will look great in a corner. So I have a feeling that we're going to see a lot of these botanical sets being given out as gifts this holiday season, which I think is absolutely fantastic. And who knows, we may get some new A-Falls along the way.